Tony D and Little Joan with your screenwriter's rant on the Super Mario Brothers movie starring Chris Pratt, Anya Taylor, Joy, Seth Rogen, and I think Charlie Day's in it too. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books one through ten. You have been checking out the Pineys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Keeps the channel going. Um, so Chris Pratt voices Mario. And if uh, do I have to explain this? <laughs> I mean, it's a video game. He runs around. He steps on uh, turtles and uh, fights Donkey Kong. And uh, here's the mushroom, little mushroom people, and. This is Luigi, who I think is, I think that's Charlie Day. I guess Seth Rogen is Koopa or one of the other characters. I assume Anna Taylor-Joy is Princess Peach, who, of course, gets a makeover because we can't allow princesses who in literature for hundreds of years have been saved by brave knights. No, no, no. She, she can't be saved. We got to give her a weapon and the whole thing, but, um... So it's going to be a pointless two-hour commercial for video games, a video game you've played a million times. It's just going to be the graphics are really, really awesome now. <laughs> and the plot, uh, you know, it's going to be a plot around Mario saving Peach, saving the world. Not saving Peach so much as saving the, their world and defeating Koopa. And uh, there'll be callbacks to the game. I know, Joan, I hear you. I hear you. I know it's all the same. I know it's all the same. Um, here's Luigi. Joan, what what do you want from me? I can't. I didn't make the damn movie. At least it's not Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. Uh, let's read up the write up here. Directed by Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelenic. Collaborators on Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans go to the movies. Oof. Well, I mean, that's not the worst team of guys I could think of. They've got a sense of humor, at least. It's a bit silly. It's going to be very silly. From a screenplay by Matthew Fogel, The Lego Movie 2, the second part, Minions, The Rise of Gru. Well, both those did pretty well, so that's a good sign. Chris Pratt as Mario, Anna Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Charlie Day as Luigi, yes. Jack Black as Bowser. Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Oh, Fred Armiston as Cranky Kong. Kong. I guess that's the older one. And Kevin Michael Richardson as Kemek, and Sebastian Maniscadio as Spike. Uh, from Illumination. And Nintendo... Co-financed by Universal Pictures and Nintendo. Released worldwide by Universal Pictures. So, you know, will people go see it? Probably. Nostalgia. Member berries. Will it be good? For what it is, it'll be fine. It'll be harmless. It's really the definition of a rental. Or something you get on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. So when your kids are acting up, you could say, hey, 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 you guys want to watch the Mario movie? And they go, yay! <laughs> or they go, what's that? Oh, you know that game Dad plays? Oh, yeah, that's fun. Okay, put this in. And there'll be jokes about Mario Kart. And the kids will like it. And the adults will kind of like it, sort of. And they'll be like, <sighs> halfway through the movie, and these, you know, adults go, <sighs> oh. I'm going to get some popcorn. Um, so this comes out in April. It's an expensive cartoon when you boil it all down, right? They hired everybody in Hollywood to voice this thing. Totally unnecessary. Uh, for what, you know, hiring a celebrity is worth. I, I, you know. <laughs> what? All right, come over here. There you go. Happy? Um, so first act, uh, I guess we see Mario in the real world, fixing sinks, gets sucked down into the sewers, probably because of Luigi it looks like, 
There's a whole new world there. Uh, Koopa is going to take it over. So Mario is the hero. He has to help. Oh, Joan, you got stuff all over your face. I don't even know where. We just came back from walkies. I don't even know where you put your face. No, come here now. Come here. So, just hold still. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to wipe your face gently. Gently I wipe your face. See? See? I'm going to get the stuff off your face. I'm not going to hurt you. Easy, easy. Nice. I know that's a little sore for you. Just hold still. You're probably saying, why are you doing this instead of talking about the movie? Because the movie's boring. <laughs> it's more interesting wrestling with this little muppet. Okay. There. That's all I wanted to do. Um, because there's not going to be a single surprise in this, really. It's just going to be callbacks to the game. A couple of jokes. A couple of good expressions and 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 takes. But it's not going to be a surprise. You know what it is. So, second act, uh, the, he's fighting all the various monsters and has to run through the world. And they explain how that crazy world works. Third act, they win. No, they all die. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's a 90-minute commercial for the next generation of Mario Brothers video game, which I'm sure will combine Mario Kart and everything else, and it'll be the biggest game ever, and then there'll be games within games within games, and it'll be the hottest thing, and next Christmas you'll all be buying Mario Brothers uh, 2023 or whatever the hell they're going to call it, the ultimate you know, it's uh, it's classic. I like it. I mean, I'm, I don't hate it. Um, you know, in terms of a game, in terms of a movie, if I see it and it's on and it's amusing, maybe I watch a few minutes of it. But like, I'm not going. I'm not ten. You know, if this was 1985. This would blow my head off. But it's not. It's. This has been done again and again and again. It's ostentatious is what it is. It's an ostentatious version of the Mario Brothers. I mean, how far can they take this? How much nicer can they make it? It is what it is. It, it's never, you know, it was a popular game. I get it, but it's just so blown out of proportion now. There's nothing new here. It's not, it's not going to be a revelation. Oh, my God. Mario's father is Koopa. <laughs> You know, they're not going to have that. They're not going to have some new character that... This is all corporate, in my view, corporate entertainment. And this is about as good as it gets. They just spend a lot of money on things. So, yeah, you've got top-of-the-line actors and talent doing the voices. And you got some good guys writing it. I mean, I think it'll be decent. I think it'll be pretty watchable, actually, with all this talent. But, like... I could wait 10 years to see this thing. Right? I mean, like, there's no need to see this thing. There's no pressing issue. So, I'll happily wait the, until this shows up on one of the free streaming services somewhere that I have. And maybe I'll watch it if I'm just bored. But I don't need to see it. I don't know anybody who needs to see this. Even the kids don't need to see it. What was the last incarnation of the game? I guess it was Mario Kart or some variation of that. I don't think the kids are dying to see a Mario movie about how it all started. <laughs> I just don't. And then the new kids coming in, they kind of know what Mario Brothers and Mario Kart is. So, you know, it's just, it's another ostentatious movie from Hollywood that it's dying. Instead of making, you know, something new, something cool that they could make a video game out of, uh, they make this. Like, it's th this is the thing. No, this is a side thing. This is a game. It's like making Parcheesi the movie with all these effects. Yeah, I've played Parcheesi. It's a game. It's a game with a long history. So what? Same thing with Monopoly. Like, all these things are things. So what? They're not stories. You know, this is the wrong thing to, you know, put your 
faith in Hollywood. It can work. It, I mean, look, they did the movie with John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins, and I don't think it, I think it bombed, if I'm remembering correctly. It didn't do well. This will do better, because we're in an era where, you know, Lego movie does decently. It, it's a safe movie to take your kids to. And, uh, you know, Pratt has a bit of a following. I don't know about putting Seth Rogen in it. I don't know how he got on board with this. Um, Charlie Day, I can see he's funny. I think I think that'll add something to it. Um, in fact, if I had to cast this, I would have cast all comedians. I, I'm not sure Anya Taylor-Joy, is she a stand-up? I don't think so. I mean, I like Chris Pratt, but I would have probably cast, like, I don't know, one of the stand-up guys, you know? Just so they could throw some jokes in. Um, so, yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> so, the Mario Brothers movie, 2023, coming in April. Boom. So, if you're, if you can't get enough video games, this, this is the only part of this video that I'm like, really? You're going to have Princess Peach and with pants instead of a dress? Um, so, and I think he even does it to me at one point, but you didn't need to hire Pratt or any of these guys. You could have hired a bunch of no name actors and done this would have been fine. Would have been just as fine, but you know, Hollywood has lost its damn mind. They kind of don't know what they're doing. They're putting all their eggs in this basket. It's, it's not a bad basket to put your eggs in, but I mean, if this is your biggest thing, if this is all you got. Right? Like. And I'll say it looks, you know, like it's got more story. They could do more with it because they're in a cartoon. So. This will come out and then there'll be a video game. And, you know, at some point, and I think we're at that point, like, does this look any different than a video game you could actually maneuver? I mean, these look just as good. I mean, cutscenes, movie, and actual gameplay at this point, are all at this level, pretty much. You know, they've got graphics this good. So, as a movie, it's kind of pointless. It, it, it might as well have just been a video game. But, you know, whatever. That's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Squirmy Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming out to the library last night. That was nice. Uh, I will be uh, on a podcast, the uh, OBG, OBG 70s podcast. I've, i got to check the name. And uh, I'll be at the Krampus Fest <laughs> on Saturday in Asbury Park. We'll see you in the next one.